Well, I'll tell you, Navy leadership has taken this, this budget uncertainty very, very seriously. We're dealing with a couple of different things, but all of it add up to mean the potential for very serious reductions in this fiscal year alone. The first item is a, what we call a continuing resolution. Basically, we, we have an authorization bill for fiscal year 13, but we don't have an appropriations bill. In other words, we don't have a spending bill. The money hasn't been given to us to spend for fiscal year 13. So we are still spending under fiscal year 12 dollars. That's what the continuing resolution means. Now that underfunds the operations that we had planned to conduct in this fiscal year. Underfunds it to the tune of about 4.6 billion dollars. So we've already enacted some belt tightening measures uh, to try to slow the rate at which we're spending the dollars that, that we have been allocated. Things like travel, conferences. There's a freeze on the hiring of all uh, Navy civilians. Um, we're going to have to be eliminating some temporary workers throughout the fiscal year. And of course, we're going to be ha having to cancel and defer some maintenance on our ships and aircraft. That's under the continuing resolution, or CR as we call it. The second item is sequestration. And we've talked about this for many, many months. This is, a, uh, this is a, an attempt to deal with uh, the increasingly high debt that the country is in. And sequestration, should it be enacted, requires all the services to take about a 9% cut across the board in their operating accounts. For the Navy, this would be another $4 billion in fiscal year 13 alone that we would have to try to recoup. So somewhere to the tune of almost $9 billion over the course of the rest of this year, but we're already well into the fiscal year. So uh, sequestration would require uh, a, a deeper impact on training and operations um, that we believe uh, would start to put in jeopardy, not necessarily those forces that are deployed now, but the ones coming later. Uh, so I can tell you, Navy leadership, the Secretary and the CNO uh, have been focused on this uh, like a laser for many, many months now. Uh, and these decisions that they're making, though difficult, uh, they believe are prudent and the right thing to do. Um, more importantly, many of them are reversible. So that should we get a spending bill, uh, we'll be able to turn those decisions around, put the, put the travel back on, put the conferences back on perhaps, um, and more importantly, uh, get our training and maintenance into a healthier position.